Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here, wishing everyone a very Merry Christmas and depending on when you're watching this, a Happy New Year. I am just in London and I'm so grateful to have you as part of my channel. Thank you so much for all of the amazing comments recently. I see them and I'm just so grateful. So today, you probably guessed it by the title, I really wanted to do a video about the best things of 2023. I feel like it's quite nice to a little roundup, talk to you about the things that I truly, really loved. Maybe I wore them all the time, maybe I used something every day, because I think it's a really good way to see if something stood the test of time. Okay, a year isn't that long, but in some respects a year is really long. And I wanted to talk to you about the things that I picked up day after day or month after month and the things that I felt like were really worth the money. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. As always, everything mentioned will be linked below. Just click show more. And if you do like this video, if you could give it a thumbs up and maybe click subscribe before the end of the year, or maybe you're watching this at the start of the new year, would love to have you as part of the family. I'm so, so, so grateful. So thank you so much in advance if you can hit subscribe and give this a thumbs up. So without further ado, let's get going. Do you just want to start by saying, I'm just gonna pop a little ad PR on the screen, just because some of the brands in this video are brands that I may have worked with this year or last year or the year before. So some of the items might have been from brand collaborations, but I may have repurchased them so that's why it says ad PR the video is not sponsored in any way but just so that that helps you starting strong I'm gonna start with my YSL toy Lulu bag oh I actually have some more products to talk about inside here which is hilarious I just have to start with this this is not a new product this is something I have had for years and years and years there are so many different reviews on my YouTube of this bag, I have blog post reviews. So if you are interested, head to my channel and head to my blog because there's so many reviews. This is by far the best designer bag I have ever had in terms of use. I have used it so much. I never bought it for it to be a use every single day bag. I don't really know when I'm buy buying a designer bag, I hope I'm gonna use it, but I don't really know what I'm going to use it for. Without a doubt, I grab this every single day for the last year, for the year before that, so this, 100% is my most used bag. It's just so versatile. I was worried that the strap wouldn't be very good with it just being all leather and not gold, but there's barely any wear and tear. And I just think it gets better with age. So yes, I should probably savor it and only use it for special occasions, but it's just the most perfect day-to-day -day bag. Another thing that I wear every single day is earrings. So I have two pairs this year that I have flipped between. Pair one is the ones that are in my ears right now. I'll pop on screen a little closer. They are so wonderful. At the time of making this video, they are 50% off. Um, so hopefully you can go and grab them. I absolutely love them. I had my eye on them for so long because I kept seeing everyone wearing them and I was like, I just love you so much. And I have to say, they've been great because they look dressed up, but also they work from like a casual day-to-day -day look as well. So I've tended to wear them like every single day and they just take me from day to night so well. Also, they don't itch my ears. The quality is amazing. If you're looking for something a little bit more affordable, again, I'll pop these on screen so you can see them properly. I did buy into the hype and I bought these earrings that everyone was wearing. I mean, honestly, when I bought them, not that many people were wearing them and now everyone has them. I think they were under 10 pounds and they haven't made my ears itch, they haven't made my ears sore, but they just look so good. I just absolutely love them with any outfit and they really transform my outfits. Like I went to Bista Village and I wore them with my new sunglasses and my scarf and I was like, I just love how they kind of transform my whole look. So you could wear like a full black outfit, but then with big gold earrings, I just think it's really chic. So absolutely love these. I will link the exact ones below. Speaking of Gucci scarf, I actually thought it would be the Burberry scarf that was my most worn, but absolutely not. This Gucci scarf, again, I never know with designer how often I'm going to buy things. And I actually got this for Christmas last year. I have worn this into the ground. I just love it. So firstly, it's reversible, which I love. So you can wear it both ways. But also it's just like a big blanket. I have done a full review video of this. But what I love is look, you can wear it like a shawl, like a full blanket. So like if I'm going out for dinner and stuff, I actually end up just wearing this. Like I was in a restaurant in New York recently and I was really cold and luckily I had this. So I just popped it over my shoulders like a shawl and I just love that. I love the versatility. I did worry that because it's so big with the logos, it's not gonna go with much. I needed like a plain scarf, but truly I'm so glad I got this. This is one of those purchases that yeah, I thought it might be a little bit too loud, a little bit too logoed, but honestly it just transforms like a plain black outfit. And honestly, it keeps my hair dry as well if I'm out and about. So I just love it. And it's so warm and such great, great quality as well. On the topic of clothes, 
and please excuse this because I've been wearing it so much. I do need to give it a hand wash. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. Okay, so this one's cheating a little bit because I haven't had it all year, but I have to say, since I have had this in the very short time I have had this, I have not taken it off. Literally, I need to take this off. So it's a knitted jumper from Adenola. I just love that they're going into this kind of like knitted athleisure. Um, a lot of people have asked me about it. So this is kind of like a navy, which I think is amazing. It is knitted and it is made from wool. So hand wash only, which is why I said I need to hand wash it. I need to pop it in the bath. The sizing is kind of boxy. Um, so I got a size small. Last time I checked, it was pretty much almost sold out. But it's just one of those absolutely gorgeous pieces that I've been wearing it to the gym. I've been wearing it around the house. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's that really cool kind of like, I don't know, like wear this in Paris with a little cute skirt underneath, wear it with leggings to the gym. It's so versatile and it just feels so well made, so comfortable, not itchy, so soft. I can't believe the quality and I'm so happy that we're moving away from only doing like the sweaters, the Adenola sweaters and we have this really lovely quality knitted piece now so i'm very happy to have this in my life haven't taken it off and just think it's an absolute yes people have asked me if it shrinks in the wash it's hand wash only probably because it will shrink if you put it in the wash also on the topic of clothes i got these shoes when i say i have not stopped wearing them since spring i just love them so obviously i really like chanel shoes and i do feel like they have that kind of chanel vibe normally i would think that a toe like this wouldn't be very flattering on me so it's definitely more of like a day shoe because it's rounded instead of being pointed but i have been wearing them to dinners i have been wearing them to meetings i've been wearing them to daytime events i love the gold detailing i love the pearl detailing they do these in so many different colors i think i'm gonna have to get a few more pairs now i know just how much i wear them they do a tweed version, they do a black version. I think a black version would be really nice for winter with black tights. They do a glittery version, they do so many good versions. I just love them. Take my word for it, I have wide feet. I'm pretty much a duck and these are so truly comfortable. Like I can walk for so long in these. I think it's because they're so wide, but they're also really flattering. Usually shoes like this rounded with kind of a chunky heel just wouldn't be flattering on me at all. But I feel like these are one of my most beautiful day to night but still flattering pair of shoes and comfortable for wide-footed humans like me so absolutely i want them in every single color i did actually work with this brand and i actually do have a promo code that i think is still active so you can get i think it's 15 percent off so i will link that below as well because you need these shoes in your life i literally adore them from summer through to winter like i say i'm gonna buy more colors on to the comfy items if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, I would love it if you would come say hi, I'm Shell X. Then you might have seen that during Black Friday I talked about this a lot. This has been the dressing gown to end all other dressing gowns. So there's two dressing gowns that I love, the Soho House ones and this one. This one is like a hydro cotton spa dressing gown. It's so long, it's oversized. I got the smallest size, they are huge. They are unisex, they are comfortable, they are like big amazing blankets and they're like ripped and it's so fluffy i actually need to put this back in the dryer with some drying balls because people told me that i should not have left it to dry naturally apparently to fluff it up it needs to go in the dryer with drying balls so this is truly the comfiest softest fluffiest biggest most amazing dressing gown it's just a dream come true and on black friday i had 20 percent off which i've never seen on these dressing gowns they also do towel versions so if you don't want the dressing gown just get the towel versions i have the towels as well use them every day they are amazing see if you like the towels and then you could always get the dressing gown maybe next year but i have worn this dressing gown when i have come out of the shower all the time literally every day and it's just so comfy almost too warm some days i grew up in a household where my dad was like turn off the big light Oh, it looks like Blackpool Illuminations in here. Does that mean anything to anyone? I think it's a Northern thing. It's basically like Northern dads or Northern parents growing up would be like, you need to turn off the big light. And my dad would go around and like turn all the switches off. And it's, I think it's a tongue in cheek thing to say that Northern is a tight. And my dad would, would always be like, just put another jumper on, just put your dressing gown on. So I'm from one of those households. So this, seriously, you don't need any heating on because it keeps you so warm. I literally walk around M. Shell home and I'm like, I, I'm on fire and it's the dressing gown. You have comfy clothes. I did get the most amazing dupe pajamas. And when I say I got these literally a few weeks before the start of December and I have not stopped wearing them. I actually got them for all of my friends and family at my birthday party because I wanted everyone to match. 
and they're the softest, nicest pyjamas ever. They do them in loads of different colours and I just love that they're buttoned up. I think they look really chic, really expensive, but they were literally £20. I actually prefer the bottoms, like the top's really nice because it looks so nice with the button up, but the bottoms, I have been wearing the bottoms just alone, like walking around the house. They're so flattering and they're so soft and comfortable. I got size extra small. I feel like they are just lovely, soft, comfortable. I keep saying it, but they're the softest pyjamas and you just wouldn't believe where they're from. I feel like they feel so much more expensive. So definitely, yes to these. And on the topic of softness, oh my goodness, the Lululemon Align Leggings, they are something else. They are literally amazing. So I got some navy ones and I got some black ones. I have worn them into the ground. The reason I love them so much is because they're great for Pilates and yoga, not good for hip because they're so soft. But they're also great for just wearing around the house, going to meetings with a big jumper over the top. They are so soft. I actually wanted to get my mum some for Christmas, but I got her something else instead. Um, but I'll keep this maybe and get her some next Christmas but they're so soft so flattering I love that they're high-waisted so I actually ended up getting these in black and navy I think I will definitely treat myself to another pair and then on the topic of gym wear this is a tennis skirt that I bought myself I have had so many compliments on it but I have never worn it to play tennis in I wear this as like my everyday skirt pretty much every single day in summer I wore it without tights in winter I wore it with black tights it has a little shorts underneath it, so perfect for kind of those days where it's really windy or rainy, but I feel like it just dresses up my outfits without having to wear an actual skirt, and I feel so protected and warm and dry and everything because I have the shorts underneath, because obviously it's made for work exercise. I love that I can dress this skirt up or dress it down, and I have just worn this into the ground. I need to get this exact skirt in white this year because I actually have like a different version of it in white and again I love it but I love the pleatedness of this so yes you will have seen me wearing this literally every single day. Clothes are made to be worn and I love that in this video these are all things that I have literally worn into the ground. Another bag that I have used and worn into the ground is the Longchamp bag. I have a full review of this and I actually washed it recently with washing up liquid and it was totally fine. I also did put it in my washing machine and it was totally fine. I need to wash it again. I've had these bags for years and years and years. You know they're good because even Princess Kate Middleton loves them. Um, but Emily actually got me this for my birthday last year and I have used it into the ground. I'm a tote girly. I always have a tote with me because I'm always carrying like boxing gloves for my gym classes or extra leggings or a water bottle or gifts for someone, I always have a huge bag. And this is just a little bit chicer than carrying an ugly tote bag. I have a black one, I have a navy one, I have this color, and it's just such a good gift. They also fold up for travel, so I often just pop this in my suitcase. But to be honest, I use this literally as an everyday bag, every day. I actually sometimes put my Toy Lulu inside it, or I use my Toy Lulu crossbody, and then use this every day. Fits my laptop in it, everything about it is just great. And you can kind of batter it around um, when you're walking around, because you know that you can pop it in the wash, which is great. Speaking of boxing gloves, I have to give the biggest shout out to David Lloyd Blaze, my absolute holy grail fitness class this year and the last six years. I love Blaze classes so much. They are honestly amazing. Someone just messaged me on Instagram and she said she did the 14 day trial at David Lloyd. She was like, it was amazing. The Blaze classes were so good. I've never met anyone who doesn't like the Blaze classes. My mum comes, my stepdad comes, Matt comes. I have friends that come with me. It's amazing. So it's basically three minutes on the treadmill, then three minutes on the strength, then three minutes boxing, then you do it again and again. My only wish is that it was one round longer. When it first started, it used to be a 55 minute class, now it's a 45 minute class, and I just love it. It never gets easier, you just get stronger, you lift heavier, you run faster, you punch harder, and I love watching my progress. I love watching other people in the class and seeing their progress and speaking to them. David Lloyd is just amazing. Their gyms offer so many amazing facilities, saunas, steam rooms, pools. When I had an injury earlier this year, I did a lot of swimming there, but the class I go back to time and time again is Blaze. Their Blaze studios are truly amazing. I actually hosted a Blaze class with them when they first launched it, and I would love to host another Blaze class with them in the near future. Like, that would be so cool. If that would be something you guys would like, let me know, and maybe we could make it happen. But I just love it. it. It means I get my strength, my cardio, my boxing, my stretching. I get everything in one workout and I don't have to think about it because someone else is doing the teaching and there's great music. I leave with the highest endorphins, so number one workout of the year. And that takes me on nicely to beauty products. Obviously, there are some gorgeous beauty products that I have been grabbing every single day this year. 
and this is hilarious because this is so dirty because I have literally used it every day, put it in every single bag, but it had to be Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. My boyfriend uses it for his lips, he has the world's driest lips and this is amazing. There's over 88 uses for it, you can use it on cuticles, you can use it for sunburn, you can use it on lips, eyebrows, eyelashes, pretty much anything. Prince Harry apparently used it on his todger. Not my words, it was in his book. You can use it on split ends. Honestly, this is always with me. It's always in my handbag. That's why it's so battered because it's just great. It is the OG, the original, and it's just the best. So this has been in my life for years and years. This video is not even just about things that have been in my life in 2023, but things that have been in my life forever. Another beauty product that has been in my life over the last year, this was actually introduced to me earlier this year by a hairdresser. I don't know how to pronounce it, it's called Dercos, Dercos. Now I've never heard of this brand before, but when I got this, I have not stopped using it at least once a week for literally the last year. This has been great. So basically I came off the pill um, because I was having really bad migraines and one of the side effects, there were many side effects, if anyone would like me to talk about those, and one of the side effects was dandruff. So the hairdresser said I should use this and it's really, really helped with my scalp. I went from having such a sore scalp and then I had like a scalp analysis and my scalp was so much calmer so it's proof that it does work. Like I literally tested my scalp before and after and the proof is in the pudding. It worked. I think they said try it for like 12 weeks but honestly it's been amazing and I will not, not have this in my shower now. I feel like it's really helped the kind of scalp health of my hair if that makes sense. Um, and obviously your hair isn't going to grow and be healthy if you don't have a nice, what do they say, soil. Like, it's like a flower bed. The soil needs to be nice and your scalp needs to be nice. So whilst this isn't a sexy topic, it's something that a lot of people do go through and it's been amazing. On to something a little bit sexier though. Face masks. I have used this so, so, so much. I've actually been using this for years, the Origins Drink Up. But I feel like it used to be in a green tube. I'm not sure. This is amazing. It's a 10 minute hydrating mask. Now there's a few hydrating masks that I flip between, the Origins Drink Up one, and then Clarins do one in a blue um, bottle, do you call this a bottle of tube, in a blue tube, but I ran out of the Clarins one, I ran out of my trusty pink Clinique one as well, so over the last year I have been using this, it's amazing, I literally pop it on my skin, like in New York every night I would pop this on my skin and just go to sleep with it, and my face literally drinks it up. You're meant to take it off after 10 minutes, but honestly if you have dry skin, if you are in a cold climate, this hydrating mask is amazing. How could I forget vitamins? Okay, these are two of the vitamins that I have loved. I will link them below. One is magnesium. This magnesium, I heard about it on a podcast and they basically said if you clench or grind your teeth, magnesium should help. I don't know the direct science, but basically it's something to do with like calming the muscles and basically after a month of taking these, I was so impressed in so many different ways. It's apparently meant to be good if you wake up and feel like you've been hit by a bus. So magnesium, 100%. And then my hair vitamins, which I have been taking for ages and ages and ages. I hit pan on these far too often. I've actually just run out. So I need more of these, but these hair vitamins have been great. These blushes from Armani. Oh my gosh, look how battered they are because they're so good. I've recently just started using this bright pink one, but I also love the coral one. They have been my absolute go-to blushes this year. And then this, lip gloss again hit pan this lip gloss is like five pounds from revlon i'm gonna have to put this in the bin because it's gone but i wanted to really quickly show you oh my god this is like the last the last piece this has traveled around the world with me this year and it's just the glossiest nicest lip gloss i love charlotte tilbury but i ran out of my favorite charlotte tilbury lip gloss which is a collagen one um and i feel like this is actually quite a nice dupe Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And then, also lip products. I've been wearing this every single day. It's not even a lip product. I'm sure if you've seen any vlogs of me and I talk about what's on my lips, it's usually a chubby stick. Can you believe it's a chubby stick? Robust rhubarb. These are not even for the lips. I'm pretty certain they're for the cheeks. But I put this on my lips. I have it on right now, literally every single day. See? Efficiency, multitasking products, we love to see it. Then, speaking of flights, I did want to talk to you about the Tatcha Luminous Skin Mist. This is amazing. I got it from Space NK. Space NK is kind of how I'm introduced to a lot of beauty brands, and the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist is amazing. In fact, the whole range is amazing. They also have a daily moisturizer, which I hit pan on so quickly. Um, this is great. You can spray it over makeup, you can spray it on regular skin with no makeup on. Whatever you fancy, but it's always on a flight with me. It's just gorgeous. The products are 
so 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 good this actually is moisture retaining patcha just has really really good ingredients and this it smells great it feels great my skin feels so dewy and wonderful after using this okay i've actually run out of the product so this was just here to remind me but spf is so important 2023 is the year that i really took spf very very seriously we should always be taking it seriously but i took it a lot more seriously on my face in 2023 i'm gonna pop on screen the spf that i used pretty much daily it did go on sale some days for so like £10 and I stocked up. She says that and now she's run out. I gifted this to so many people for Christmas because it's so good. The reason it's great is because it has caffeine in it so it makes you feel like your skin feels awake. It also I believe has vitamin C in it which is great for that kind of glow but it's also a primer as well so usually when you put spf on your makeup doesn't sit very nice it goes a bit tacky. With this your makeup just kind of glows through and feels amazing. It's one of the best bases of an spf that i've ever had to then put foundation over the top it feels amazing now i know we should now i very much used to be like i don't need spf because i have foundation why would i put spf on no 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 the spf isn't distributed evenly and correctly just by put, popping it in foundation so it's really important to put spf underneath as well and this is such a great one and i want to shout out as well because it's drugstore which is great you know you can get it for literally 10 pounds ish depending on the deal and i just think that is amazing so i went through a lot of these this year we are almost there cleanser elemis cleansing balm just love it so 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 much one of the best cleansers ever a little hack is to get a mini and just keep topping it up and taking it on travels the lazy girls makeup remover you know pop it on your eyes it takes off everything it's literally amazing this was a newcomer last year and oh my goodness i loved it drunk elephant is having such a moment right now and i actually started using drunk elephant way before it started having a moment i had their travel set and i was just obsessed with it their products are so good but this i have been obsessed with it the la la retro whipped cream i pop it on in the morning after i wash my face and then i like walk to the gym i feel my neck and my face and it's so soft so smooth and so happy I just love the pump motion. I love the packaging. I just think Drunk Elephant is a really fun brand. This is a rescue cream with African oils. So there's so much goodness inside it. And it also has plant ceramide in it. The ingredients with Drunk Elephant are amazing. And actually last year I suffered really, really badly with dermatitis. My face was so itchy. My eyelids were so uncomfortable. I actually had to go to the doctors. And I have been using this religiously alongside my eight hour cream. And I can't help but think that my skin is just so happy and hydrated using this rescue and recover um, product that maybe that's why I'm doing better now and I haven't had it this year. Hair wise, I fell back in love with the Dyson over the last year. I have to say my hair just feels so much better when it's blow dried with a Dyson. Unfortunately, I stopped using it because I would go to the US a lot and it would really annoy me that I can't use the air wrap in the US. Do you guys have like a different Dyson air wrap over there? I'm not sure, but my air wrap and my Dyson products just don't work in the US, which is so annoying. So I can't make my hair look as nice, but I just love how soft and great it makes my hair look. I feel like it makes my hair feel a lot healthier as well. Um, and I got this color weight, which I absolutely love. My last Dyson Air Wrap lasted me, honestly, for years and years and years. The quality is so good and I love the science that goes into it. Let's be real, they're a tech company and their products are some of the best. Then in terms of small businesses, I have so many favorites, but two that I have absolutely loved eating this year. There's one that's a kombucha brand while drinking, um, which is called Remedy Kombucha. My fridge has been stocked up with their products literally every week. I am obsessed with their kombucha. They have a pink lemonade one and it's so good kombucha is really good for the gut so i really try and have more kombucha in my life and i just love it so 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 much the zena brand called hidden fruits they are amazing they do these chocolate covered belgian chocolate covered raspberries i need an endless supply i basically got them for everyone for my birthday and we were all hooked you take them out of the freezer and then you let them sit for like 20 minutes i actually prefer to let them sit for even longer they are so good in summer i'm probably going to want to have them like frozen but in winter, I just love taking them out, leaving them, and then just having them as like a delicious snack. I love chocolate and I love fruit. So it's like my dream snack and I love that it's a small business. And then last but certainly not least, Amy from afar.uk. If anyone is looking for napkins for their wedding, birthday, dinner parties, whatever it may be, you have to use her. I will 100% be getting my future wedding napkins from her so i really hope her business continues to thrive and i hope she has space for me to do my wedding but truly i hope every brand restaurant works with her she is so talented 
I actually found her on Etsy and then when I placed my order she messaged me to say that she was actually a YouTube subscriber and since then we have worked together on the most amazing New Year's Eve napkins with little bears on. She did me personalised bows for my birthday and then personalised napkins for everyone. They're so special because they're keep safe, they're forever. You could gift someone with them and that just made my day. Like I just love that she's a follower and that I've been able to support her small business and her work is amazing and I really want to champion her work. So. There are so many favourite things I have every year, which is why I usually write a blog post about them because this video could be an hour long. I'm sure I've missed loads of favourite things, but hopefully this gave you a little insight into the things that I have been grabbing, using or loving every single day. You know, I've got my Joe Malone candle. The Joe Malone ginger biscuit cologne scent was my favourite this year. There's just too many favourites to mention. My hair was coloured all year by Aveda and it's just so hard to talk about everything that I love because I truly love so many things and I will only talk about the things that I love. I always joke and say, you know I like something because I will never stop talking about it. And I feel like all of these things in this video I have talked about a lot, I have used a lot, and I've run out of a lot of them and rebought them. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, wow. You deserve a hot chocolate. Thank you for making it this far. If you did make it this far, I would love it if you could comment and tell me your favourite product of the year. What have you grabbed every single day this year? Or what have you grabbed every week? Or, you know, did you buy a YSL toy Lulu bag and have you used it into the ground like I have? Or did you get an eight hour cream and use it every day? Or have you found a small business that you absolutely love? Let me know, I would love to hear and maybe I can then fall in love too. Like I say, you're not part of the family. I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and I would absolutely love to have you over on Instagram as well, at mshellex. Thank you for being here, watching my YouTube videos and I really appreciate the support. I will see you for the next one.